What's poppin' y'all? It's safe to say that we will never be getting another Outkast album. Their last album was released in 2006, and this isn't necessarily a good or bad thing. Many people are still fantasizing about another project coming, but I can almost guarantee that it won't happen for several reasons. But we need to talk about why, mainly why I think they decided to end their career as a duo, because none of us will ever know for sure. Before that though, please click the like button, but more importantly subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss a video. Also follow me on Instagram, I do first reaction mini album reviews and content that is too short to make it onto the YouTube channel over there. Outkast didn't have a huge breakup like most other music groups do. And it looks like Andre 3000 and Big Boy are still great friends. In 2015 when asked about Outkast after they had done some performances, Big Boy had to say this. If anybody's been following me on social media, if we're not doing music, then people think we're not together. But we've been really hanging out with our kids this summer. We've been going paintballing, we've been going to golfing, we've been hanging out every week. We had a real good summer. It's been a real relaxing summer for the both of us, but you know, we've really just been enjoying the brotherhood aside from the music. Since we've been doing that all our life, we're just getting back to the friendship, you know? So if they're cool, why would they just stop putting out music together and go on what is factually an extended hiatus since they never announced an actual breakup? They were at the top of the world, and in music, we usually only see people quit when they're trying to claw onto their last dying breath of relevancy until everyone forgets about them. The world was shocked when Michael Jordan retired, both times, after winning the first three-peat and the second three-peat. You usually retire when you're washed, and even though he did come back with the Wizards, those are things we don't see happen often, if ever. Outkast has also been together since the early 90s, when they were teenagers, with their debut album in Southern Playlistic Cadillac Music in 1994. That's 24 years ago, and after being in the game for 12 years since their first release, and going to such high levels of fame, and accomplishing all there is to accomplish, maybe they just wanted to chill out and retire on top. This doesn't mean that there were never disagreements though. In an interview, Big Boy revealed that they were invited to perform at the Super Bowl in 2004, but since they wanted their songs to be shortened to fit the time slot, Andre 3000 refused to do that. Big Boy really tried to convince him, but it was in vain since we never saw the performance happen. So things weren't always sunshine and rainbows between the two, and nobody should expect it to be like that. Brothers always have disagreements and fight, and it's honestly surprising how close they've been able to stay together, even with things like business getting in the way of their friendship. Another theory I have is that Andre 3000 was the only one who wanted to stop making music. Andre 3000 is a weird guy. Not in an insulting way, but the kind of person that just outright does what he wants and believes in, even though it might not make sense to anyone else. Since the hiatus, we haven't seen him release an EP, mixtape, or album on his own, and we've only seen him on a handful of songs as a feature in albums like The Life of Pablo, Birds in the Trap Sing McKnight, Blonde, No One Ever Really Dies, Passion Pain and Demon Slain, and A Tribe Called Quest's last album. The most surprising being a feature he did on a song with Divine Counsel for the December remix. The reasoning I have behind this is that we've seen Big Boy continue to release music, dropping three albums. Sir Luscious Left Foot, which is the best one I've listened to from him, it is absolute flames from top to bottom. Vicious Lies and Dangerous Rumors, which I have not listened to, and Boomiverse, which is okay but seems more geared toward the younger audience and new style of rap who probably slept on it anyway. That's three albums since they broke up. If Big Boy was tired of making music, he wouldn't release this much music. He doesn't have to, and he definitely doesn't need the money. The 2000s babies also gotta get rid of this stupid, idiotic belief that goes around social media saying Andre 3000 basically carried the duo and relegating Big Boy to nothing more than a weed carrier that would occasionally hop in every song. This is not the case. And anyone who actually grew up listening to them will also tell you that this is not the case. And the stupidest part of this statement 
is that we've never even heard an Andre 3000 solo album. I've heard a big boy solo album. And like I said, Sir Luscious Left Foot is fire. So he proved himself on his own. Andre 3000, on the other hand, has yet to do that. So at the very least, it should just throw the whole argument out the window. But I can guarantee most people saying this haven't even bothered listening to a big boy solo album. They both contributed equally to the music. They are complementary to each other while also contrasting in both their image and their raps. And that's what made it come together so beautifully. Just because a bunch of retarded gay hipsters liked Andre 3000's fashion sense that they didn't discover until 2014 doesn't mean he rapped or carried Outkast when it came to their music. Outkast, in my theory, opinion, estimation, broke up because Andre 3000 had enough of making music and felt he accomplished everything he set out to do in the industry. Maybe spending time with his family and other endeavors supported this decision even more. I believe Big Boy would have continued if Andre 3000 never decided to leave. And I think he was reluctant to going on the hiatus and had arguments with Andre about it. But will never publicize any of that because he genuinely values the close bond and friendship that they have together. That started and clearly still is far beyond anything dealing with music or business. But let me know in the comments, why do you think Outkast broke up? And would you like me to do another video on Outkast music? They're the first group that actually got me interested in Southern rap, so it might be a good idea. Like and subscribe and hit that notification bell if you enjoyed. Thank you for watching. Peace.